Starting August 4th, the contractor is going to come in and close down uh, 65 from Sunshine to Battlefield, and that'll be the first phase of the project. We'll be doing it in two portions, um, one week at a time, and with that we'll be shutting down from Sunshine to Battlefield and from Battlefield to the 6065 interchange. Um, and that'll be in the southbound portion first. Then we'll have a lull um, in between for the holiday, for the Labor Day holiday, and then we'll be starting again September 6th, going for the northbound section, and then we'll start being at the 6065 interchange, going back, um, doing the pavement replacement um, from 6065 to Battlefield, and then finishing up from Battlefield back to Sunshine. So with this, we'll have two, two, two weeks going southbound and two weeks going northbound with concrete replacement um, like we did two years ago. With this project, we will, we're going to try to help with traffic congestion and for, for these closures on 65 um, to help with the heavy traffic and to try to help with traffic to get around both on the west side and on the east side of, of Springfield. On the west side, we're going to have uh, detour signs going what I-44 back to James River and then bring them back around um, back into the south side. For the east side, uh, we will have detour signs coming down 125 to 60 and then bring them back, back around as well. Um, we also plan on having two sets of uh, temporary signals, um, one set at Battlefield and um, Blackman Road. Another set will be at Route D and 125. Both of those signals will help during the closure and then they'll be taken back down after the project is completed. Um, we also have engineers on site um, at our traffic management center we're during the closure to help monitor traffic. Route 65 was built in the 1970s. Um, it's getting close to 40 some years old. By doing this, we're going to get another 50 years life out of this, so we don't have to do those repairs to it. We know this is a major inconvenience for the traveling public, but by allowing the contractor to come in and close the highway, we can come in and get this project completed much faster and quicker and have and make it much safer for everyone. Yeah.